All right, welcome back. Here are some more days of my life and how much I kind of spend living here in South Korea. Let's go. All right, today is December 16th. As you guys can most likely tell from the background, Seoul is getting cold as f lately, and this is what yesterday kind of looked like. Whoa. All right, anyways, I need to head on over to Songdo Incheon to meet my friend. Unfortunately, that's an hour and 30 minutes away. So here is me taking my first bus. This is a regional bus. And then I need to transition on over to an uh, inner city bus, which is going to take me from Seoul to Incheon. This bus alone is going to take me 55 minutes. So yeah, I'm going to put on my hoodie and I'm going to knock the f*** out. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I woke up because I caught myself drooling inside my mask. And then I kind of like rubbed the window and I was like, oh my God, we're in Songdo because of the snow. I could tell because of the snow. Songdo is at the very like next to the ocean, so it is a bit colder than Seoul. That's why the snow is definitely more intense here. It's actually oh, fog. Very slippery. I'm currently here in Songdo to meet my friend. We actually have an appointment for Botox together. Hello, future Anna just jumping in here really quickly to talk about my Botox procedure. Specifically why it was so cheap. The thing is, if you are going to get Botox here in Korea, you want to know that there is going to be a Korean version you can do or a European version you can do. And I believe it's typically from Germany. I forgot the brand name, but I do know that it's from Germany. Korean version is significantly cheaper. So the clinic I personally went to for here, the Korean version was 30,000 won per section, whereas the German brand version was 70,000 won per section. So you probably are wondering what's the difference between the German version and the Korean version. I am not a chemist. I am not a dermatologist. I don't know anything regarding the chemicals inside these Botox injections. What I just do know very vaguely through the consultation that the person provided is that once you continuously get Botox, the injections are going to start not working because your body develops resistance to the Botox. So from what the person doing my consultation told me is that if you do the Korean brand, you are going to develop that resistance faster than you would you than you would develop resistance to the German one. So she was kind of persuading me to get the German version, but to be honest, I'm not a person who does Botox too often, so I was like, I don't think I'm going to develop the resistance too quickly, so I was just like, let's get the Korean one. It turns out both Korean and the German one only last three months. Okay, the thing is, if the German one lasted longer than the Korean one, like the Botox effects, then I was like, yeah, let's do it. But from what the consultant told me, both of them only last three months. I personally did two places, my forehead, <laughs> as well as my angry 11s. I found out that's what they're called. The person was like, can you smile for me? And I smiled and then she looked at my wrinkles on my crow's feet and she, she was like, you know what? You don't need um, the one on the eyes. So yeah, I only did two spots right here, right here. It was 30,000 won each, 60,000 won in total. But one thing I realized with Korean procedures where there's a hair appointment or like a beauty appointment, if you pay in cash, it's just like face value what the price tag was. But if you do pay in card, they do have um, additional taxes added on. It's called Pugase, but I, I think that translates to tax. So yeah, um, I, ha I paid with card and that's why it came out to around like 64,000 won. Once our appointment was over, we took a taxi and headed to Triple Street. Oh, yucky. Oh, what phone is this? Guys, oh. if you are ever in Incheon or Songdo area, please visit Triple Street. It's gorgeous. Christmas <laughs> Terrace. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we headed on over to a coffee shop. It's called Lynchpin here in Songdo. It's located on Triple Street. I highly recommend it. Of the coffee notes. <laughs> Unfortunately, mine doesn't have auto blurring okay. focus. Yeah. Gina got the Lynchpin's um, specialty black latte. I got the cold brew latte. We then just took a moment to catch up with our lives. We haven't seen each other for I think like three or four months. I think the last time I saw her was September. It's Why? a candle. Oh, perfume? Oh, it smells so good. Wait, why is there so many things? So bubble. Oh, it like a bath bomb? I think so, yeah. <laughs> Look 
Oh, dude, why is there so many things? I think those are just some scent oh, samples, like, yeah. Did you give me perfume? You did. That's the gift certificate if you want to switch out the scent. Ooh. Yes. Are you a musk person? I okay. like actually floral though. That's floral. Ooh, I love You like it? Oh yeah, we also got a croissant and it was really good. Um, yeah, and then all right, fun fact, guys. As we were just chilling and talking here at the cafe, I noticed my friend's nails, and I was like, oh god. Because fun fact, uh, she's getting proposed to in a couple of days, and I was like, yo, we gotta do something with that nails in my head. And I was like, all right. So I just casually mentioned, like, oh my god, I've been growing out my nails to get my nails done. You want to go today? So yeah, we took a subway to Pukpyeongyak. I've made a TikTok about this several months ago, maybe a year ago, of how like you can go to this station and it's filled with like this row of just nail techs and this is a place where you can go without a, an appointment because you are bound to find one nail tech who can just do your nails on the spot fortunately there was a lot of people waiting so we had to wait until 8 p.m to get our nails done so we decided to get dinner where are we gina kept saying it's good so we're going in you know it's good when there's only four items on the menu so this one's really good Alright, how do you eat this? Oh, you just mix it. Oh, you just mix it? Okay. Actually, I have to take a picture. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Just like. Oh. Oh. Let's put the noodle shop together. Oh, the guy. So, you want to put the thing here? It's really good. You have to cut it because I ate it and I put it back out at the same time as you did. I'm gonna zoom in on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Around 7.30, we made our way to the nail shop. And um, the thing is, the design is pre-made. You could pre-choose a design that's already made. But you could kind of change up the colors to the scheme that you want. And she was about to go for like a pastel purple. And I was like, which is fine, which is fine. It was gorgeous. But I was like, how about you just go for like the neutral like color? So yeah, I persuaded her to go for a neutral set. And yeah, I, I, I think I did my due diligence as her best friend getting her nails proposal ready, guys. So this is how both of our nails turned out. And I really like them. We're <laughs> laughing. We're trying to be aesthetic and we're just like. <laughs> Stupid. Nail beds. <laughs> Is this your attempt at making a very. <laughs> Once we were done with our nails, it was around 9 p.m. And this is where we said goodbye to each other. I took the subway home. That is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more videos. Bruh, I kid you not. That subway seat was heated. Like, I'm dead serious. I'm not trying to, like, make Korea, like, look technologically advanced. But nah, that seat was heated. I thought it was like warm because I was sitting on someone's spot and like someone ass warmed it up. But nah, that, that place like, that seat was like warm to the end. <laughs>